Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a kind of a tips and tricks video for people that download files, um, you know, either from email attachments from friends or from the web and a few tips and tricks on basically avoiding the bad stuff, viruses, malware, uh, anything that could cause you trouble basically. Uh, first, email attachments. Now, it's very popular sending out files and email attachments. I don't know how many of my clients I've seen receiving, for example, which is extremely popular, PowerPoint presentations through email. And yes, I do agree, there are some really beautiful PowerPoint presentations or slideshows that you can view, and they are fantastic. But remember, downloading an attachment from email will give you more risk of getting a virus or malware. Now here's the thing. There are ways in general of knowing what's the good thing and what's the bad thing. Um, first of all, in email attachments, one of the very important things that you need to know is does the file come from a known source? Are you receiving an attachment from somebody that's sending you attachments every day? Of course, with that type of, uh, or every week, with that type of email and attachments, well, you're kind of used to the fact that, well, that person sends me all the time some nice stuff. Um, is it the first time that you're receiving an attachment from somebody? That should raise a flag. You should maybe, before doing anything, ask, well, did you send me an email with an attachment file? Uh, is it safe to open? Is it okay if that person responds, oh yeah, I sent you a PowerPoint of this or that, or I've sent you a file for this or that. Yeah, okay. Uh, in businesses, you know, email attachments are popular for all sorts of documents. Make sure they are documents. That's another thing you need to know. You know, one of the common problems about email attachments is trickery. For example, this is an example you get a file called abc.ppsx. Now this is a PowerPoint presentation. But you could get a disguised one. That's uh, abc.ppsx.exe. Now that's trouble. That means you are going to click an executable file. Everything that has, you know, .com, .exe, .vps. Well, for example, I'm going to put it here, .exe files dot com files for command uh, dot vbs files because vbs files are uh, scripts that can be downloaded and activated if you get files that have these types of extensions and email attachments you do not open these you delete these immediately they are very dangerous they are the most common way that people actually send you stuff that look real but in reality are viruses or malware. And you know what? Your best friends and your family are the worst in email attachments because you are thinking they must be fantastic, they are great. Yeah, well, they are also a possibility of danger. It's very important. Um, make sure also that, you know, they did send you, if it looks weird, if the name looks weird, if you don't understand what it is exactly, delete it. Um, you know, viruses and malware are often sent from ACT accounts or computers that have viruses and these viruses can actually automatically send themselves through email without even knowing. The, the person infected doesn't even know that viruses are being sent to other people via their accounts. Another uh, source of problems is often file downloads. You go to a website, you want to have this or that program that looks cool to, that does this or that feature well file downloads are of course very risky if you don't know where to download something you rather uh, you should ask somebody where do I download this you know people get uh, all the time uh, all sorts of adware and malware because oh I want to have iTunes yeah but where does iTunes come from it's supposed to be from apple.com. That's where iTunes comes from. But they don't know. They just Google it and they download it from some weird source 
that often have these very bright green and yellow and flashing download buttons that downloads everything except iTunes or yeah you'll get iTunes with a lot of crapware very careful know the source of who makes a certain software go directly to the manufacturers website download it from there not from a Google search not from a weird download site that nobody knows about unknown sources are dangerous um, you know a lot of trickery in websites that have billions of download buttons so you've got a very small download button for the real thing but a big green download button for something else people will get caught with that uh, one of the stories I have with that is a uh, client of mine her teacher um, says hey um, you need this program for the astronomy course and she gives the link now yeah on that page there's the small link for the astronomy program but there's a big green button like this one for a download and she got infected with malware because that green button gave all sorts of um, you know malware and adware and all sorts of bad stuff basically so be careful with that type of uh, download make sure that you know where you are going make sure that you verify uh, that it's not fake stuff you know like once again uh, a, a word document should be doc or doc x uh, an excel document xls or xls x uh, know your extension so that you can actually take a peek at the extension and make sure there's no .exe.com.vps at the end that could actually be a fake file trying to infect you and finally you know what when you download something why not scan it? Download it. Don't click the open button. Download it to your computer. Most of the time it will be in the download folder. Once you are there, you know what? Let's just close this. You can right click on the file that you downloaded and you'll always have scan with Windows Defender. If you have other programs, look here, I've got also scan with malware bytes anti-malware. So you can scan it with different programs that you might have that will tell you if yes or no the file that you have is infected or some kind of uh, you know file that might have some kind of internal infection that didn't wasn't detected while it was downloading but now that you're scanning it it's actually telling you yeah there's bad stuff in here so be, be very careful be vigilant it's very important and you know what on my own experience when I look at all my clients 99 percent of my clients would not have been affected if they had just followed one thing common sense 99 percent of my clients said well it looked funny it looked weird it didn't look like it was usually but they uh, clicked anyway and they got infected if they had followed their little common sense saying well that looks weird I'm not clicking that that would not have happened and finally if people send you um, email attachments or if you send email attachments to others take the time to describe in the body of the message hey this is Judy I'm sending you this um, you know Excel document so you can review it that will make things much more secure because the, the person at the other end will say Oh, okay, that Excel document that you wanted to send me. Thanks, I've, I'm going to click on it. I know it's okay because you told me it was okay. Um, you know, have the decency to explain that you're sending something. Don't just do, oh, here, hello, hi, and that's it. So, uh, hope these little tips and tricks will help you uh, stay safe on your computer if you download anything, either from email attachments or from... Uh, download sites and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks videos.